how y'all are? This is your buddy George Jones over here in the gun room. I seem to be doing these gun room videos a lot. Eh, well, it just seems that, you know, there's things I want to talk about that don't directly involve shooting. Uh, recently I made a video and I talked about a magazine published by Charlie Ritchie down in Texas. And I couldn't think of the name of the magazine to save my life. So, I went ahead and published that video, and then I thought, you know, I didn't do him a very good job there. I need to plug him a little bit better. The magazine we're talking about is this, Backwoodsman Magazine. Now, Backwoodsman Magazine has been around for about, well, several years, and I've been, uh, I've been a subscriber to it now for, I don't know, six, eight years. Uh, it says on here that it has been around for 40 years. Uh, okay, it's been around for 40 years. Backwoodsman Magazine is basically a magazine with just about everything to do with the outdoors. So we'll thumb through here and look at it a little bit. Uh, here's an article on rattling antlers to call deer. Uh, here's an article on uh, the difference between lead bullets and jacketed bullets in your muzzle loader. Um, here's one on making a dugout canoe. That's pretty cool. Boy, it seems like a lot more work than I want to do, just to tell you the truth. Um, here's one on making an evaporation cooler out of flower pots. Um, I kind of miss the old Popular Mechanics magazine from back in the day. Uh, the Matchlock Musket Long Arm of the Pilgrims by Have Musket Will Travel. Uh, okay. Uh, here's an article on Matchlocks. Okay. And so, I've been wanting to make something. So, uh, I'm in the process of making a match lock. Okay. Uh, because of this article. Uh, there's ads in here. This is uh, militaryheritage.com. Uh, they sell military muskets, musket tunes, and so forth. Uh, and they're not ever they don't advertise anyplace else that I know of um, do the video quit reading the magazine <laughs> okay uh, there's an article on life in the old west um, you know um, what's this Tips on opening a slip joint pocket knife. Yeah. Steel guitar picks and so forth. I've always had a good strong thumbnail, so I've always been able to do it. Altoid tins for slingshots. You know. Um, you know, a backstop for practicing with your slingshot indoor. Um, here's one on uh, bark tanning leather. It just... Just fascinating stuff, and I get this magazine. It comes out quarterly, and, uh, you know, it's just a, a fascinating, a fascinating magazine. A comparison article on coolers, uh, the Titan and Igloo, and, you know, and so forth. Uh, you know, how to make a moving target for your backyard range. Uh, the Gunman of El Paso, John Wesley Harden. It's just uh, just fascinating magazine. And the articles, you know, quarterly go on and on and on and on, you know. And then the NAA Mini Revolver, there's a big long article on that one. Uh, there's a big... Uh, uh, 
classified sections, people wanting stuff, and people got stuff for sale, and services for sale, you know. And it's just a it's just a fascinating magazine. Magazine for the twentieth century frontiersman, Charlie Ritchie's Backwoods Mag Backwoodsman magazine, muzzle loaders, muzzle loading, woods lore, survival history, um, homesteading, self reliance, primitive living skills. It's just it comes out quarterly. You can buy it on the newsstand or you can subscribe to it. Uh, I've been subscribed to it now for, I don't know, five or six years. And I got a whole pile of them or piled all over the place. So people say, well, print is dead. And no, no, print ain't dead. <laughs> Print's not dead and print will be around for a long time. You walk into a, you walk into a, a bookstore in the mall or the magazine section at a Walmart, it's huge, you know. They don't keep putting them things out there because people ain't reading them, because people are reading them. Well, anyway, that's a little plug for Backwoodsman Magazine. Uh, it's a pretty good thing. You can look into it. You know, it's a pretty neat magazine. All right, then. We'll see y'all.